Hey everybody, and welcome to a new video where we're talking about the volume profile, and specifically we're talking about trade setups using the volume profile. One of the pretty common things that I'll hear if I'm talking about entries or if I'm talking about setups is Corbs. The volume profile seems very complicated. I'll also hear that it seems kind of random the trades that are taken and the way that they're managed. And I really understand this because from an outside perspective, if you're not very well adjusted to the profile and if you don't have a good understanding of it, and if you're really not in sync with exactly what I'm doing, I understand that it can seem very complicated and it can seem very random. But I want to walk through and in this video, uh, I want to go through a trade and just help to explain my thought process and what it, what I'm doing and why I'm doing it in a little bit more detail and I hope by me being able to explain it better that you can see what we're doing here is by no means random and that the volume profile is actually not complicated. It is very simplistic once you understand it and I really hope by breaking down a trade and kind of talking through some things that maybe this will shine a light on it for you and help you to see things a little bit more clearly. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to pull up the charts and jump right into this trade. Okay, so we're gonna pull up a trade and I've already said that I've done a review on this already. So if you're in the free Facebook group, especially if you're in the group, then you've already seen this trade, I'm sure. The trade that we're gonna be looking at and a big part of my process and the work that is involved with trading is taking trades that we've already done and reliving them and reviewing them, picking them apart and understanding why we did what we did, understanding the context around it, understanding how we could improve and do what we did better and understanding what we did very well and, and celebrating some of those successes. This is a huge part of the work and by doing trade reviews and breaking down your own trade, this is something that will almost immediately elevate your trading skill and it will massively cut down on your learning curve. This is something everybody should be doing. And uh, as I said, this is the trade that we're going to be breaking down. If you're in the group, you've probably seen this already, but this is a, a kind of a snapshot of the, the points that I'll be looking at um, when I'm doing one of these reviews and, and reverse engineering a trade that I've already taken. Okay, so this is the trade we're going to look at. It was a short that um, risked around $400 to bring in just over $1,000. And this is the trade right here. Now, let me explain what exactly I did and then we'll back it up and see why I did what I did. This was, uh, or, or as we're looking at this, just so we can understand, these red marks are where I put on the short. This is how Sierra marks off your shorts. Um, and then these purples are where I took off that short. So I entered in a short here. As this trade started working, I took off part of that position. Once we came back up to the original entry, I put more short back on. As it came back down, I took it off again. Now I sat through this chop here. I didn't increase the size for a, a, an additional time. And then as the trade worked down, I took off in front of VWAP and then I exited the trade at my target, which was the point of control. Okay, so that's what I did. Now let's back this up and understand why put on a short, why right there, why target the point of control. Um, and hopefully some of these things will, will make much, much better sense. Okay. Ooh, not that much. Okay. So this is the same day that we're looking at. This is going to be a, a very noisy chart. Uh, I'm going to keep it really drilled in though. So don't get lost in just all the, the, the lines going on here. This is just trying to get the whole thing on one screen. So what we have is this is where we opened. If you can kind of cut through the noise with me, uh, we opened right in here and then we moved lower. We pushed higher. We moved lower. We pushed higher. And all of this chop that is happening is happening early in the session, but it's happening right around the open. We didn't chop after pushing in one direction. We opened and just chopped right around the open. This back and forth action specifically around the open gives us a very nice insight that we're trying to find some balance, at least for the first part of the day, uh, potentially for the entire session. What we ended up doing was pushing higher. So we established all of this balance here. We pushed higher. 
away from that balance. And then instead of resting and then continuing further away, we came right back into the balance again. Once we were in this balance, we explored the other side and then we tried testing outside of balance underneath. Once we did that, instead of continuing lower, we again came right back into balance. So you can see the balance has been forming. We're trying to push away, testing prices, no real interest, we came back. Tried to push lower, no real interest, we came back. And then we just spent a lot of time chopping back and forth, back and forth, all around the open, um, but specifically around the point of control and establishing a value area for this intraday profile, okay? So with that as a, as a piece of, of context and with that with understanding, looking at this short that was taken, understand, uh, let's understand the short. When we pushed away for this last time, we were just hanging around inside of balance. We pushed outside of that balance with a nice strong move, almost 11 points straight up. Uh, instead of pulling back and continuing higher, we tried to pull back, but then we failed right back into value. Now, the shorts that I put on here were not randomly entered. I entered these shorts right at the value area high. So when we failed to keep, keep extending away from value, when we came back in almost 10 points right back into value, as we pushed up and tested value area high, I initiated the short. What we ended up doing is as we started, uh, started to work, I scaled out like I almost always do. Then when we came back and still tested that value area high, as long as value area high holds, this trade is valid put the short on again, took it off. Now, this next time we came up, this started to look like we were pushing. So this, this third time, um, I didn't increase the size because I was starting to lose faith in this trade. We actually chopped a lot more than I was expecting us to. And so I didn't increase the size and put on more risk again. Um, but then after this, this third attempt, we ended up coming down. Uh, testing VWAP, and then going straight through to the point of control. Okay, so let me walk you through what the trade idea here is and what we know about the profile, what the profile allows us to understand. What we know about market movement and what we know about the profile, if we are in balance and we are unable to move away, if we're going to hold the value area, then I'll expect us to return to the point of control. And so in this situation, we are very balanced on the day. We try moving away from that balance and we come right back into it. If that balance is going to hold, then I'll expect us to return to the point of control. And that's the trade idea. As we return to value area high, hit the short. If we do not hold and if we do not accept value area and we start pushing away again, Take the trade off because we're likely moving away from value now and we're, we're likely going to try to move out of balance. If we accept and if we're going to hold value area, then target the point of control. When I put this short on, I have no idea what is going to happen. I don't know if we're going to come back into balance or if we are leaving it. And the purpose of trading, the purpose of any method is not to know what is going to happen next. If you're under the impression that your system or your strategy or your anything is allowing you to know what happens next. You're on a very bad path in your trading and, and you're doing something that is not sustainable and will eventually blow up on you. But what we can do and what the goal is to try and put together what is most likely to happen next and then execute on that, making sure our risk to reward is good and making sure that we manage our, our positions uh, intelligently. Now, the, the trade idea here, coming back into value, and if you don't understand about profiling, the idea that returning to value and targeting the point of control, that you might not see why that's a valid idea. But if you understand the profile, and if you understand certain concepts, you, you'll, you'll know, and these are the things you'll learn if you stick with the profile, um, that this is a very valid piece of information. So we're in balance, which is a huge piece of this. The, the, the short that was taken here, was not random. It was not randomly put on at value area high. It was put on at value area high for a very specific reason. 
because of how this day had shaped up, because of that attempt away from value, which came right back, um, all of these things came together to make this a valid trade idea and to, to have me put this on. Um, as a side note, while we're just talking about this trade, a, a couple very important things to point out is I, I initiated a short, but I did not catch the top of this move. And I did not ride this short down to the very bottom of this move. Um, and in a lot of cases, there, there wasn't an incredible amount of money made on this trade, just over $1,000. And there also was an incredible amount of risk taken on this trade. Um, and even the risk to reward was not that great. Uh, if this trade would have pushed all the way against me, I, I would have lost around $400. Uh, so it wasn't an insane risk to reward. It wasn't capturing the, the top and the bottom of the move. It wasn't a huge, ridiculous trade. Um, and most of the trades that I take are, are probably not super flashy, but these are things that I don't have to try and catch the very top or hold to the very bottom, but I can put together situations, even though I usually won't catch the top or the bottom, but this is something that I can do consistently. And that is the name of the game. This should be the goal for everybody not to try and crush these tops and to hold all the way to the bottom or vice versa, but to be able to do something that you understand and that you can do consistently. When this is moving 10 points away from value, eh, we might be breaking out of value here. But when this falls all the way back down and starts holding value again, now I have some good insights into something that's likely. Likely we're gonna hold a value and return to the point of control. Okay, so as I'm explaining this, I don't know if this sounds complicated or not, but if we can just back it up and look at this. We have a day here that is forming, and I'm not having an indicator. I'm not having lines just cross each other and just tell me to you know, get in here, get out here, but I'm listening to real-time market-generated information. I'm, I'm letting the market tell me that it's in balance. I'm letting the market try and push away from balance and letting it tell me that it's not accepting those higher prices. Using the volume profile, getting some very nice insights on where that value is, what we look like when we're trading on those extremes, even where the point of control is. This is all very valuable information that you can't see without a profile. But just the, the general idea here that this trade idea is not, somebody told me to, this trade idea is not an RSI crossed a line or a MACD. Um, this is real-time market-generated information that we're putting together. This is a, a, a strategy here. This is a puzzle. This is, um, a, a, in my opinion, um, a simplistic but a sophisticated way to look at the market that goes way beyond just buy here, sell here. But it's a story. There's a narrative. There, there's a, 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 um, a flow to this information. And it's always going to be different. Not, not different in the sense of every situation is unique. We have a lot of situations just like this that are balanced, but it'll shape up in different ways. We have situations that are directional. We have balanced that, that holds for only certain periods of time. So there's a lot of variations of this. And this is the beautiful thing about trading is every day we're coming in, I'm trading the same exact products. I'm using the same exact method, but it's always different and it's always challenging. And there's always you know, something to figure out and to put together. And when you get to, to this style of trading, or in my opinion, this level of trading, because I think a very base level of trading is wanting to come in and just be told what to do, whether that's by a group, whether that's by an indicator, whether that's by some kind of a signal. And when you evolve past that and really want to take responsibility for your actions and know why you're doing what you're doing, it changes everything. And the market generated information that the volume profile allows us to see, this puts us in a good position where we can put these things together and make intelligent trade decisions. The market is trying to get, is very balanced. We're trying to move away from that balance and we failed. If we're going to fail back into balance, where are we likely to go? The point of control is a beautiful target. If I put this short on and we fail to get back inside of balance, if this move here just keeps going, then I need to get out of this trade because now, we moved away from balance, we came back, fail, held outside, and now we continued higher. That is a situation that could have happened that I was prepared for, but that's not what happened. We came back in, we held value, and we returned to the point of control. 
So I, uh, as I'm explaining that, I don't know if that gives a lot of clarity. I don't know if that makes sense or if that seems simple, but to me, it is very simple. It's not easy, but it is simple. Um, when you understand the profile, when you understand how market moves, and, and when you just understand how to read real-time uh, market-generated information. So that's pretty much it for this video. I'd really love to hear just what your thoughts are about this breakdown and the the reasoning for making this trade, the reasoning for the entry, where the entry was taken, why that entry was taken. You know, we didn't really talk too much about the specific management on this, but front running that uh, point of control, front running VWAP, targeting that point of control, taking off the the earlier, uh, taking off the earlier exits, uh, just to help secure some profits and to try to mitigate some of the risk. Not talking or really diving deep into any of those things, but just the actual trade idea. Having this short shape up and looking for a return to the point of control, I really hope that that clears some things up, that that can help shed some some clarity. Now, as a part of just daily practice, I, I break down the trades that I do. Definitely not all of them, but I, I usually try to take at least one trade and break it down the way that we, we just looked at. I virtually have an unlimited amount of this type of content. And I would love to hear from you guys if this helps shed some light. I know that the volume profile is not this thing where you just get one quick explanation and all the pieces fall together because there are a lot of pieces. Again, it's not easy, but it is simple. By having different situations shape up in real time, executing on those and then being able to walk through and talk about them. Maybe this one trade doesn't solve all of your, your questions around the profile, but um, I can definitely produce quite a bit of these type of walkthroughs that are just you know, seeing how the market shaped up for that day and then what surfaced as a setup that we were able to, to take advantage of and, and able to try and execute on. So you guys can let me know if you wanna see more videos like this. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this one and I really hope that that provided some clarity. You can definitely let me know if it didn't and I'll work on the way that I'm explaining these things. But we'll go ahead and wrap it up for this video because that's about all I have to say about it. Okay, if you are still watching this video till the very end, uh, let's go ahead and hit the like button on the way out. If for some reason you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do that so you can stick with us and be around for the next videos. If you're gonna be on the screens between now and the next time I see you, I wish you very happy trading. Uh, watch your risk out there and I'll see you guys in the next video.